Today, I'm making a Russian Imperial Braggot with buckwheat honey. This meat is based off a stout recipe from a friend, so let's get started. So this video was inspired by my friend Austin, who you'll see at the end of this video as part of the tasting. He really enjoyed my last braggot that I made and wanted to make something like that for himself. He really likes stouts, so he wanted to do something with the stout base and turn it into a braggot. Stouts are normally super dark and rich, so I immediately thought about buckwheat honey to punch through that thick flavor. So I went to my local Learn to Brew brew shop and talked to Liberty, who works there, about a stout recipe. He had brewed a Russian Imperial stout recipe a few times and really liked it, so he shared that recipe with me and helped me convert it into a braggot. So here is the recipe for our Russian Imperial Buckwheat Braggot. Now I'm not going to read through all of these because there's a lot of stuff. You can see it on screen. It'll also be in the description if you'd like to make this yourself. This brew was pretty easy to do. We started by sanitizing all of our equipment with star sand and then got our mash water up to 6 gallons. We heated that water up to 149 degrees Fahrenheit for our mash and added all of our malts. We mashed for a total of an hour, and then we sparged with about a gallon of water. We then went through all of our hop additions. As you can see on screen, there are quite a few hop additions with varying times. This brew is very malty and hoppy, and with our honey, we're going to have some even more fun characteristics coming from it. At Flame Out, we added the four pounds of honey so we didn't lose any of the important characters found in that honey. We are using buckwheat honey because it's a rather intense and strong honey that can cut through the characteristics of this Russian Imperial Stout recipe. After we included our honey, we used our wart chiller and got it down to 75 degrees Fahrenheit and then pitched our yeast. We are using the Safel US05 because it's just an overall good yeast, especially for beer. It's a clean fermenter and pretty quick, and we like the uh, temperature range and the ABV cap for it. The starting gravity for this was 1.092, and the final gravity was 1.022. The primary was only about two weeks long. Austin wanted this brew to have some oak character, so we added one ounce of medium toast French oak chips straight onto that primary state and let it set for about a week. I took a sample and tasted it after a week and felt like it got enough of that oak character and decided to go ahead and move it straight into the keg. We then force carbonated it and let it set for a bit longer. Now that we've seen the creation of this brew, let's see what it tastes like. All right, here we are for the tasting. Got Austin here. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. This yeah. is your brew, inspired by you. It's not really my brew. <laughs> you you were, did, you bought all the ingredients, you had the recipe. You were, you <laughs> loved that braggot the last time. No. And then you I kept did. going on, you're, I like, did. you're like, I really want to make something like that. Okay. And I had one of your stouts from, yep, yep. I feel inspired by you because I had one of your stouts That's that you true. made from my, how long ago? Uh, two years. Okay. So oh. that, yeah, well, three years now. But so that one had aged two aged, years. Yeah. And then that kind of, um, we had a conversation. I think you were like, yeah, I like stouts. And mm -hmm, I was like, okay, what mm -hmm, can we do? And mm -hmm. so buckwheat honey came around, me knowing a lot about honey. And so we yeah. ended up creating this. That's right. That's so right. let's, uh, let's see what it tastes like. Oh. And then feel free to give me your unfiltered opinion. Unfiltered opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, since I had your, uh, you know, braggot before in the past, yep. I, I thought the big difference between the braggot and, and normal beer was I thought it, I thought it was more healthy. Yeah. Which is, and I kind of have the same feeling about this one. It feels healthy, <laughs> which it's, I, it's really hard to describe it like yeah. that. But um, yeah, I would say healthy. But this one actually tastes this as a, it tastes just like a stout, mm -hmm. but I feel like it doesn't have any of the bitter. Real bitter taste of a stout. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, um, I feel like it has more sweetness because of the honey, mm. which is there, and that kind of helps. And I do think that the healthy side you're talking about is probably that um, floral, I don't know, something about that floral, like tea side can sometimes make you be like, oh, that taste. I That's feel like I'm, I got more health notes, which is not a bad thing. I'll, if this is healthy, yeah. then I'm all about yeah. it. Uh, I don't know how healthy it actually is. Yeah, that's it's really something. This it's is, uh, surprisingly um, smooth too for 9%. Most Very of the time, like smooth. a stout, you have to age for a while before it's like smooth. But I feel like it's pretty, pretty yeah. dang smooth. And I feel like you made it fairly quickly. I mean, we made it. It was quickly. yeah. It was only a couple of weeks for the to make it. Two weeks, about a week of oaking, and then just 
setting back and letting it. Oh, it was. So, I mean, it's, <laughs> I guess it's at this point like two months old. So it's sure. And beer land, maybe that's a little bit older than normal. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't know, but. Hmm. It's uh, surely rich. I don't know. I honestly, do you? I've had. You hear something? Yeah, I, Wait, I do. Where's that? Where's that coming from? Where's... Is that out here? Yeah. Let's take a look. It's... I would, uh, is there anything you want different from this? If you're making another stout, do you like, do you want more uh, oak? Like, where do, you, where do you fall in that regard? Because sometimes oak, it can be. I, I kind of think this is a perfect amount of oak. I've had a lot of stouts. I, yeah. I think, I mean, I think for fun, we could go even a little bit stronger, but uh -huh. that would probably be the only change I would make to this, yeah. this taste. But... Well, we could, and I think the limitation, at that time was that system uh -huh. only wondering how like how much grain you could put in that basket oh but some people will do multiple mashes oh. so there's oh. a world where you oh. do that where you could like double your mat your um, mash volume okay. okay by just cycling things out so Gee. well it was a pretty sweet system mm -hmm. it did, did the trick you know? well hopefully you're gonna get some use out of it yeah. too because yeah. um we're planning on we're definitely i think we should brew again because that's a lot of fun i think we I should feel too. like you you are inspirational and in that <laughs> you've created something a new fire in me to start making mm. more beer and braggots and things like that but mm. yeah i've enjoyed getting to do this man thanks yeah. for uh thanks for pitching the idea and uh, i think we're oh. gonna have to do some more stuff but yeah thank you to austin no i appreciate it and, thank uh, you to you I hope you uh, I hope everyone will maybe go try this recipe because it's worth trying. Mm -hmm. um, I want to do I do want to give a shout out to Liberty who's at the uh, Learn to Brew shop here in Edmond. He's actually the one who gave the base stout recipe and then helped me out. So check them out. But yeah, thanks again. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh man, you're still watching? Holy cow! Okay, I guess I'll explain a little further. If you didn't catch enough from my awesome rap, by the way, check out the link to the music and the rapper in the description below. New Air, look at this thing. Big old refrigerator, refrigerator? Refrigerator, temp control in the back. Three shelves, self-closing door, key for locking it, because it's an outdoor fridge technically, so you can lock it. Light in the inside, goes down pretty dang cold, and watch this, auto closing door. If you are interested in this thing, feel free to check it out below. Spoilers, well, I guess I'll just give you a warning. It is a little pricey, um, not the cheapest fridge. Apparently it is an of the Energy Star, so it will take less energy or cost less, something like that. A little bit loud, anyways. Link below for uh, codes and promos and all those other things. Huge thanks to New Air for sending this to me. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and everything. So, cheers. <laughs> Yo, the code is French Brown, making others look inferior. Talk quality, performance always be superior. It's the more than look, yeah, standing still exterior. Room for leftovers with the spacious interior. Sub zero temp, keep it ice cream frosty. Keep it full fresh and your sauce looking saucy. No need to worry, don't gotta pull the handle. Self closing doors whenever you got your hand on. Yeah, you know the choice is so 